Lower Bay Luke Schulte, Field of Grounds, Rebecca Hybrid. Side dress season upon us. Now, for some of you that are including planning, you may think this information perhaps is a little hasty or premature. However, with this weather, uh, this corn's going to be there before we know it. So now we're going to talk about a few of the things that we've seen throughout PFR to help us manage that nitrogen application, specifically a side dress, the most effectively. We're going to talk about timing, the depth of that application, and actually the rate itself. This corn we're sitting in here and standing in here today was planted on April 14th, so it's been in the ground a little over a month. It's almost at V3. And believe it or not, this is the growth stage in which we want to target that side dress application. We've seen a measurable advantage to side dress and V3 corn as opposed to V6 corn. You may say, well, why would that be? Because this corn itself is not wanting for anything in terms of nitrogen. We've applied 50, 60 pounds. But targeting an early side dress application is all about making sure that that corn plant has adequate nitrogen at that rapid demand period, which is about V8 to V10 corn, okay? Between these orange stakes is where the vast majority of the roots are going to reside. University research has found that 80% of the roots only get to be about eight inches away from the stalk. However, most of our side dress applications are occurring right down the center of the row. The reason we want to target this early application timing is so that we have plenty of time for that rainfall to occur so we can move that nitrogen down into the soil profile and more importantly for those roots to proliferate to make sure they have plenty of nitrogen when it hits that rapid nitrogen uptake period to ultimately impact favorably impact silk elongation and pollination so we've seen an advantage side dressing now second thing we're going to talk about is depth now this is only going to be the second year of this research that i'm going to refer to but last year we looked at side dress depth side dressing two to three inches deep versus five to six inches deep. I think it's intuitive to think, well, as long as we got it covered, we should be protected. And within reason, that is accurate. However, I think it's important to keep in mind, our side dress applications made with 28 or 32% are half comprised of urea. We know with surface applications of urea, we have the potential for it to volatilize. Well, the same thing can occur at a lesser rate when it's shallow applied. Because half of 28 and 32% urea that urea ultimately in the soil, we want it to convert to ammonium. Ammonium is, is secure. It's gonna bond to that clay and organic matter. However, the quicker that reaction takes place, which happens at shallower depths that are drying out, warming up quicker, the less likely we can get 100% of that urea converted over to ammonium and we lose it as subtle ammonia gas loss. It's not as obvious as that white puff of smoke that we see behind a uh, anhydrous applicator, you know, when it's not sealing very well, However, we know that it still is subtle loss and can make a difference. And those results you see in front of you are from last year. We'll replicate that study again. Last thing I want to talk about is the volume of nitrogen. Most all of us have our nitrogen rate that we're comfortable with. However, we know some hybrids respond you know, differently. Some need more, some need less. Okay? And so we've classified all of our hybrids as low, medium, and higher responders to additional nitrogen. Products like a 5829, very efficient at utilizing nitrogen you could consider perhaps cutting your comfortable rate back by a few pounds. But then you have products like a 5413, a 6241 that utilize, you know, require a significant amount of nitrogen and it rewards us by adding that additional nitrogen. So I'd encourage you, refer to this sheet and apply that program amount. The way I interpret the, the levels within this sheet that you're looking at is, you see it as, as uh, indicating as a low responder to nitrogen, you could consider perhaps cutting that back by 20 pounds versus your, your, your rate you're comfortable with. If it says medium, I'd encourage you to stick with what you're comfortable with today. But then when you see a product like a 5413 that says it's a higher responder to nitrogen, you may consider bumping that by 20 pounds. So 20 pounds less, your normal rate, or perhaps 20 pounds more. What I like about this is if you got a rate controller in your bar, you can adjust that from the cab. Or even if you have, say, a John Blue pump, it's just a sprocket setting that you can adjust to make the best use of that nitrogen investment. Just some things we've learned throughout our research to make sure that pass is the most efficient and the most effective as possible. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.